Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of Me Forgetting to Hit the Button. <laughs> Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I'm a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and this week I am reacting to the brand new song by The Stupendium. It's been a it's been a hot minute since we had a song by Stupendium. I think the last one was Christmas. Uh, it took all of January off to make this song, and this is Ad Infinitum or Ad Infinitium or however a person might actually pronounce that song. It is a song about Deltarune, specifically about Spamton G Spamton. I have not played Deltarune. I don't know who that is, so this will be fun. But before we get into that. If you could, please uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, do all those cool things you do to help feed the algorithm to help make this video get more eyeballs on it and all sorts of stuff like that. If you happen to like my breakdowns and like the way that I talk about music, you might like my own music. I do comedy music as well. I just released a new album called Illinois. Just came out last December. It's available on CD and also on digital sites, all of which are linked down in the description below. And I'm going to be performing live next month in March at MarsCon in St. Paul, St. Paul, Minneapolis. Uh, so if uh, details about that are in the description below as well. I'll be there with a bunch of my comedy music cohorts, including the great Luke Ski, Diabo Spice, and of course the guest of honor, Knuckleheads, uh, as well as many other comedy musician artists there. All of that out of the way, all of that being said... Uh, if you want to really help out the channel, there's a Patreon, patreon.com slash insaneian, where you get to see these reactions early, as well as get other things early there as well, participate in polls, all sorts of cool stuff. Okay, I'm out of breath, let's get on with this. Uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna dive into this five, almost six minute song about a thing that I know nothing about. I know that Deltarune is... Made by Toby Fox, the same guy who did, uh, under, oh god, why can I not think of what the name, Undertale. I was like, I can't think of what it, the game was called, Undertale. He did Undertale, Deltarune is an anagram of Undertale. Spoilers if you didn't know that. Um, but I have not played Deltarune at all, and, uh, so I don't know anything about the characters, I assume it's an RPG in the same vein that, that Undertale is. Um, but uh, Stupendium assured me that uh, this song is uh, silly and wacky and definitely has comedic moments in it. So that's why we're reacting to it here. Uh, had it not had those, I probably wouldn't be as inclined to do that here because, you know, it's a comedy reaction show. Specifically. But... Uh, let's uh, stop dilly-dallying and uh, dive on in to this thing. I'm just excited we have a new Stipendium song. Hey there! If Hi. you enjoy our tonight performance, why not consider like and subscribe? That's a real big shot! Move, kid! Enjoy the show. It's gonna be a lot of that, I feel like, where the, uh, the brackets are gonna insert a different phrase, which apparently is, I guess, how Spamton talks in the game, because a lot of the tweets that led up to this were all like that, and that's a weird-looking logo. Cool. Whoa, if it isn't a lightner! Hey, 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 hey! Looks like you're... Not alone on a late night. All your friends... Abandoned you for the slime. You are... Tails gone down there! Drain! Drain! Living in a god... Garbage can! <laughs> To saving, you do not wish to acknowledge, or you are not aware of the caliber of discounts indicated by the presence of a market object. I can already see why this took a whole month. This is a lot assaulting my face right now. I, uh... I don't understand any of it, but the makeup's fantastic. The production is, of course, always top quality, what, what Stupendium does, but, uh... What? What? All right, yeah. Your community. Hey, kid, look at you. Right time, right place. Right for the big game. Right money in your pocket. So lucky, very lucky. You're so very, very lucky that you get to be investing in this. Very okay, so Spamton's a salesman. Very special uh, with no A. S-P-E-C-I-L. 
may not be special. I, the, the misspelling is on purpose, apparently, which is good. Uh, uh, yeah, he's the everyone's favorite number one rated salesman. I am. It's this. This is gonna be fast, and yet not because it's almost six minutes. Uh, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going on. Should I have looked it up? Maybe, sure. But, uh, I didn't. Here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Community. Hey kid, look at you. Right time, right place. Rise right for the big game. Right money in your pocket. You're lucky, very lucky. You're so very, very lucky that you get to be interested in this series. From everybody's favorite. Number one, they hit sales. And they're getting a hand in seven. My departed say it. My departed say it. Yes, my departed say it. Yes, sir. Would you want to have a little fun? A little sponge. A little something to fuck you with the glum. Hum, drum, and count. All you've got to do is hyperlink blocked. I was seeing tweets with that too. Uh, just the weird bracket interruption of of other things being inserted into the the phrases. It, I'm I'm assuming that's how he talks in the game, and just it's so much rapid fire, so much. Like, it, it, it reminds me of uh, John Bruschetta, the Micro Machines guy. I think his name is Bruschetta. I think that's how it's pronounced. But he played Blur in the Transformers, the movie. The animated one. The good one, not the not the Michael Bay ones. Um, he played Blur on the show and in the movie. and, and But he was also the Micro Machines sales guy who just talks rapid fire without breathing. And I'm getting a lot of that in this. But also, uh, this is this is more rapping. But it's it's cut that salesman pitch kind of thing. It's almost like you took Rekgar, which was Eric Idle's character in the Transformers movie, who said a lot of commercial sayings like "buy now," uh, "service guaranteed," "operators are standing by," said all of that stuff. But you combine that with John Bruschetta's delivery, and you get Spamton G Spamton. Apparently, cool. Uh, also, it's just, yeah, all of that. And Weird Al played Rekgar, uh, in the later versions of the Transformers cartoon. Hey, hey, I'm making tidbit little trivia things about, uh, not this song. And I said trivia thongs, which is not a thing. Please don't ever make a trivia thong. Stumbled over my own tongue. Anyway, back to this. <laughs> It's another one of those sinister capitalism songs from Stupendium. Like, capitalism is already sinister, we know that. But this is putting the subtext as text again. Um, and, and yeah, the, yeah, is Spamton a villain in the game? I'm sure everyone has already been shouting at, it, at me in the comments already, but, uh, you know, it's fine. Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's, a, it's another one of those right in Stupendium's wheelhouse of marketing and capitalism and the evils of such and uh, the textual subtext and the subtextual text and all of that. Yes. Good. Control. It's just, it's just a, it's just a pre-chorus of clickbait. Which sounds like a great band name, anyway. We're a minute, almost two minutes uh, into the song, 
and this has just been an, a huge assault for the senses. There is so much going on. There is so much happening. I don't understand a goddamn thing. I'm not saying that I'm not enjoying it. It's catchy as all get out. And a brief interruption of moist, delicious cookies is always welcome. I'm on a diet, but oh well. Uh, I'm cookies. Always cookies. Uh. Ah. Uh, uh, it's gone, all the words. I can't use anymore, he's used them all up. Can I say the word? It's yours! <laughs> I wasn't referring. The official year, right here, last year, on the 3rd and the 4th at 5.06, you search cat pics online. Well, that's a sign. Moist, delicious cookies. Little Timmy Cat, Kitty Cat List. Now we have a list. Look, it's whatever we have on here. Spotify, a cat flap, cat food, cat chop, cat moran. Do the category, curly cat atomic, the catalog of categories I have in my hands. That was almost along the lines of the can words, only in cat words instead. Yeah, he's got such a, a, a verbose voc vocabulary that just the way that he writes internal rhyme schemes and just the, the, the flow with his repetition, but not it being an actual repetition, but more carrying things forward through puns, through like words, through uh, alliteration, but not, you know, it's... It's an incredible skill. I'm, uh, there's just so much going on with all of this that I, there's no possible way I can catch it all in a first impression like this. There is... It, it's... it's This is the most daunting song I've ever had to react to. <laughs> this is... This is an incredible thing. Flamin' Cheddarios, or whatever that says. Chungaderos. Flamin' Chungaderos. Big shots. Of just a big can of fear. Ugh. My mind is going to be pudding by the end of this video. I guarantee you. Cookies. Little Timmy Cat, Kitty Cat List. Now we have a list. The book is whatever we have on here. Spotify, a cat flap, cat food, cat chop, cat a Feel the category, curly cat atomic, the catalog, and category that I have in my hands. That was just fantastic. Just that, that whole section from when I unpaused to now, just absolutely A-plus quality. Just stinking great. Do I know what any of it means? Nuh-uh. Avertism Schism Cataclysm. Holy crap. Just the amount of tongue twisters that are in this man's songs. Why won't Mike just call me backgammon? Just the overlap of the sentence into another sales pitch. Yeah. Yeah, Adderall might be might be useful here. Just saying. Go back just a little. Please don't take my furniture. Stop watch, watch, stop, dog, color, Colorado, Adderall. Adderall. Also, the end of each word becomes the beginning of the next word. Obviously. I thought at, for a moment I didn't have to point that out, that I, I may as well, because I'm sure I'll get a comment about it. Uh, just so, so, so much. Exactor, door stop. stop, no, please don't take my furniture. Stop watch, watch, stop, dog, color, Colorado, Adderall. Adderall, see this ping pong, poncho, joke chain, chainsaw, swordfish, shish kebab, bobcat. Do you want to hear it? Will you want to be a big shot? Don't you? Don't you want to be that? It's easy. You can do it. Just a tool. It's really tool. There's nothing to it. I can prove it. Here, the register's ring. Ring, 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 ring. You're kidding. It's for you. Want to know a secret? I really want You too can have a communion with me. Yeah. Soon I'll leave a... With unintelligible laughter. All these break-ins. This is a boss fight, isn't it? This, this, this is, this is the boss fight. This... All of 
I, you're watching my breakdown in real time. <laughs> this is fun. I, oh, I was, I, <laughs> cool. What was that? Holy Kundigero! That's the flaming things that were on the shelf before. I know how to pay attention. While my eyes bleed. There is... This is... The, the production on this is so incredible. As far as... Not just the song production, but the video production. We know Stupendium does amazing work visually. As well as just lyrically as... In, and also song production. Produced by... OO Oxygen, or Ooh Oxygen, I don't know how to pronounce that person or team's name, but it's it's OO and then a space and then Oxygen. So, Ooh Oxygen. Um, I don't, they produce the song, but we know how much video production and time that he takes to do all of this, and it shows in all his work. It's the, the production is incredible, not just between the costumes and the lighting and the different backgrounds that we know Stupendium draws. Uh, but also the different textual animations and the, the, the way the lyrics is, is presented in the same kind of lyric box that's in the games. There's just so much attention to detail in every little piece of this song. And I, I feel like it's wasted on me. <laughs> because I don't know what any of it means. Uh, I am clearly not the audience for this song. This is for people who like Deltarune. For people who like the work of Toby Fox. Uh, and, uh, that ain't me. Uh, I think Toby Fox's music for his games are fantastic. Was not a fan of, of Undertale at all. Uh, sorry. Um, I tried. I tried. I bought it. I tried to play it. Was I was not a fan. I've watched playthroughs of it. It's fine. But it's, it's not for me. Uh... This is this is just. I have an I have a huge appreciation for everything that is happening in this song, between what he's written, how he's performing it, how he's delivering it, how the song is being presented, the production of the song, the production of the video. There is so much of an appreciation in this huge amount of art that he's done. This is this whole thing is a work of art. I don't understand a single word of it, like I mean. I understand what the words are, I just don't know what they mean in the context. And, uh, that's my failing. I admit that. Doesn't mean I don't enjoy it any less. I just probably would enjoy it more if I did. Well, there's a production pun. If you want to make your screen green, you're going to need my Kroger key. Because uh, my... there he is on the green screen making the video. That's, that's clever. That's that's good. There's so many good lines in it. So much good rhyming going th through and, and just the speedy delivery that we know he does so well at that it's just... It's hard to, to pick things out and not be pausing like every five seconds, and yet I'm pausing a lot as usual. Uh, if forgot to put that warning at the beginning, yeah, pause a lot. Sorry, not sorry. Gonna do it more now. Oh no, he's doing a Music Man thing now. Got got trouble right here in Cyber City instead of River City, with a capital T, and that rhymes with. Okay, we're it. I know Stupendium is a musical theater nerd. I know it because I'm I'm one too. Uh, but as soon as that came in, I yeah knew what that was because hey now you're speaking my language. It's not I know games, but I just don't know this one and just ha uh, huh.
all of this song is melting my brain and all of the words are coming out of my face and I don't know how to stop either one. This is fun. It's fine. I'm good. This is not driving me crazy. There's something about insanity at the beginning of the song and yeah, it's not just a clever name. It's so rapid fire. I'm 20 minutes into this thing in a five minute video. Are my eyes bloodshot? Just wondering. It's good. Can anyone hear me? Oh, pop it on the string. The very modern uh, model of a modern major general store. He's really flexing the musical theater stuff in here. I, I really got to appreciate that. There's so much catchphrase. It's like Rekgar wrote this song. Is Spamton just like Rekgar's new personality? I, eh? People who know who Rekgar and Spamton are, let me know in the comments. Because I'm sure I'm going to hear a lot of that anyway. This is mind melting. It's just consumerism buzzwords. This is this is the song, this verse at least, is what was playing in my head when I was a child and I saw Collect Em All on the back of the box of the Masters of the Universe figures I had. I didn't take it as a suggestion. Collect Em All was a rule. I had to collect them all because that's what the box told me. It said Collect Em All. Not, not, a, not a suggestion. Do, do, collect all of them. Give us all your money and buy all our products. This is what my my brain thought when I saw that on the Masters of the Universe figure. I'm so glad I never got into Pokemon. Because I would have I would have tried to catch them all. Just uh We're so close. Its brain is dribbling out my ears. Ho Chi Mama, what a mouthful. Yeah, there's so much inside that. There's a lot of repetition of gotta have it, and he had it, all that, but there's also the, the clever rhyming through that of the havoc and the static and the. The, I I challenge him to perform this song live. Holy crap. I would pay good money to see that. I'm also very concerned for his health if he does. Okay, one of those coins. Regional ratings are lethally fading. Like all the 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 lyrics are just so good, but there's just so much, 
sales jargon and everything. I guess because I'm you know working so many years in 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 corporate and and retail and all of that. I'm guess I'm going a little cross-eyed from that kind of flashback to it too. So there might be that. Antiques Roadshow, the ceaseless appraising. He's appraising it. The other one's screaming. I get that. The neat little plate with a needless engraving has got the dog from Undertale on it, and there's Flowery, and there's the robot boss that sings a song in the boss fight, which is what I was really getting the vibes of here, which is why I kept saying it was a boss fight. I... oh boy. And Cromer, I guess, is the money. Meaning, that's the pun on Cromer key. I got there eventually. I can take context clues. That was a can from Only Cans, because it's a shy's, because uh, that's what the cans say. Cravings <sighs> eat. Hey, hey, hey! Thanks for tuning in, pal! And thank you to all of my generous benefactors for their support. They're all big, big shots! shots. <laughs> if you enjoyed the tonight's featured presentation, you should check the playlist for my shiny laminated catalog of songs! Check out the merch store for special deals, items, or give me that sweet, sweet mortgage payment. Rumor on Patreon! Leave a customer feedback, comment, and ring, 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 ring! That bell! And don't forget to like and subscribe for more! I really want. I, um, my brains are puddles of pudding. It's a great song. I've gone cross-eyed, and I can't words anymore. If you want to experience that, link to the full songs in the description below. I'll be back next week with another thing about stuff. MarsCon, Illinois, CD, music, Stupendium's cool. I need a nap. I need, I need a nap. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> now Ella's hunting me. He thinks that I'm the Kira. I met a man, he's like me, only kind of weirder. He likes coffee with the sugar man is in the sweets. Is picking on the net, he's always in his bare feet. So now I'm on the test force, trying to kick myself. Living that double life, no one suspects me here but L. And now I have a girlfriend, she has a death note too. Started as a cubby